homework. We're going to work from page 431, number 72, 74, 75, and 77. All right, and don't forget, have your sheet from our previous um, video. Have all your, have your, um, your models, their differential equations, and what their graphs look like. So it'd be, hand, it'd be handy if you have this set of notes um, by you while you're working these problems. All right, let's start with number 72. So 72 gives you a logistic growth equation already in the correct form. And it asks a couple questions. Part A says find the value of K. Well, remember, if it's already in the solution form, we already know that it is in Y equals L plus 1 plus B E the negative K T. So K sits right there, 0 0.2. Part B asks for uh, the carrying capacity. So the carrying capacity is the numerator. 5,000. Part C, find the initial population. So we're going to find P of 0. It means you plug 0 in for T and anything 0 power is 1. So 5,000 over 40 and we're going to get 125. D asks for uh, determine the, when the population will reach 50% of its carrying capacity. So 2,500 equals 5,000. 1 plus 39e e to negative 0.2t. Going to have to use some algebra here. Divide by 2,500. Um, subtract 1. Divide by 39. Take the natural log of both sides. And use your calculator, and T is about 18.32. So in 18.32 years, we have one half a population. All right, the last one's asked for a differential equation. So we know that this is solution form. And we have that solution form. The differential equation is dy equals ky1 minus um, y over l. And I'm going to put my dt on this side. Instead of on this one, I'm just going to stick it over here. So dp over dt equals k we know is 0.2 p1 minus p over 5,000. And there's our differential equation. All right. Next, we have number 74. All right, 74 starts with the differential equation. And it asks, first of all, to find the value of K carry capacity, oh, so it's asking all the same type questions, but it's in differential equation form. So if I'm in differential equation form, I got to make it look like the solution so I can answer all the pieces. I need to find the K, I need to find the carry capacity, I need to find all that piece of information. Or I can find it from the differential equation form, but it doesn't look like the correct differential equation. I'm going to have to put it in its correct form. So, Right now, I need, uh, I need something factored out. I need a 1. So let's take out our common factors. 0.1p. And if you factor that out, you're going to have 1 minus. Of course, it's going to take 1 off the decimal point. So, so far, so good. I've got part of my form ready. I've got the k and the y the, and the p on the outside. I've got a 1 where I want it. Now I need a fraction here. The coefficient of this term has to be 1. Right now it's 0 0.004. So let's get a fraction. Okay, so I've got 4p over 1,000. All right, still not like I want it. 
I want that coefficient for p to be 1. So I'm going to multiply by 1 fourth over 1 fourth. So it's 1 minus p over 250. Now I've got it in its differential equation form. I, now I know the carrying capacity, the value of k. I know a lot of information. So A asks for the value of k. B asks for carrying capacity. C asks for um, a slope field. So the slope field, I know, has a limit up to 250. And from its initial value, whatever that initial condition is, and whatever the count value of k, it's going to have quick growth, but then we'll start leveling off. And k just determines, this point 0.1 will determine how quickly that growth happens. D asks for determine the value of p at which the population growth is at its greatest. So we're going to use our calculator on this. All right, and we're going to take our calculator and we're going to graph what's given to us here. Since we want to know when the rate is the greatest, we want to know when dp dt is at a max. We want to know when the derivative is at a max. So we want to look. We want to take the second derivative with respect to t, and we want to find out for what value of p does it go from a positive to a negative. All right. So what value of p does it go from a positive to negative? And let's just finish this one in class so we can discuss several of these components together, but we're definitely going to use our calculator on that one. All right. But just let's make a little conjecture. When the rate of growth is the greatest, that's when the rate of growth is at a max, is when it's going to be that point of inflection right here where it changes from um, its concavity from concave up to starting to be concave down. So where would that value be? So we're going to take our calculator and look at how to get that particular location. So essentially where the rate of growth is the greatest is a point of inflection. And there's some neat little properties that go together with that. And we'll fit that into class um, either Friday or Monday. All right, 75. All right, number 75 gives you a logistic equation and, or gives you a differential equation. And we're going to find the, the solution. And we have initial condition. So here is the differential equation. And the initial condition is 0, 8. So here we go. So we know the carry capacity. Um, there's nothing, there's just, oops, I've got my y there. The coefficient of y is just 1. So I know the k value, so my k is equal to 1. My carrying capacity is 40, so I'm going to go ahead and write the solution. y equals 40 over 1 plus b e to negative 1t. Put in my initial condition. using a little bit of algebra. And b is equal to 4. So my solution is 1, y equals 40 over 1 plus 4, e to the negative 1, t. All right, 77, this is our last one. All right, the differential equation they give us is dy over dt equals 4y over 5 minus y squared over 150. All right. Still, it's not in the correct form. This is not one that obeying the rules. I'm going to have to make it look right, just like I did on number 74. So we know we're going to have to factor out a 4 fifths, right? So let's do, we're going to divide this whole thing by four-fifths. All right, so when we factor it out, we're going to have four-fifths y, one minus a 
Okay, 5 goes into 150. 30 times, and 30 times 4 is 120, so that's going to be y over 120. So now I've got everything in the correct form, so my differential equation, excuse me, my solution is going to be uh, 120 over 1 plus um, b e to the negative 4 fifths t. All right, and now we're going to plug in um, the initial condition on 77. The initial condition, again, is 0, 8. So I'm going to plug in 8 on this side and 0 here. And anything with 0 power you know is 1. So now I've got 8, 1 plus b equals 120. So um, one plus b is equal to 15, so b is equal to 14, so that means my solution is y equals 120 over one plus 14e to the negative four fifths t. Okay, so we have finished up um, section 6.3, and hopefully you've watched these videos and we'll be ready to wrap it up on the quiz on Friday, wrap it up on Monday, and take our test on Tuesday on schedule. Thank you for watching these videos.